Welcome back to the channel and welcome uh, and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. Maybe what I need is some water. Maybe that's what I'm missing. I'm missing some water. My voice is Ooh. I'm parched. <laughs> or do you say parched when you thirsty or your thirst is quenched? What well, let me say my thirst is quenched. Or something. But anyway. Anyway. Yeah, in this one, I'll be picking predicting the bantamweight bout between Cody Garbrandt versus Trevin Jones. The highest score right here between Garbrandt versus Jones is. I'm going to go Cody Garbrandt, low confidence to beat Trevin Jones. Trevin Jones isn't the most easy stylist to match up for um, Cody Garbrandt. Like, you really would want him to get a pillow-handed guy that couldn't, like, a pillow-handed grappler. Like, oh, Cody Garbrandt could easily stuff those takedowns and mix them up. But now you're going to go for, like, awkward grappler who got some heavy hands in Trevin Jones and could potentially catch Garbrandt maybe being a little bit lax at some moment and knock him out. And also, I don't think Trevin Jones has ever been TKO'd either, so it could be a case where, like I said, you got 15 minutes to deal with. In that one little second, you take a mental last out there, you get knocked out. That's very, definitely very much could happen. But outside of that, um, Cody Garbrandt is the overall better fighter. I feel like grappling-wise, he could probably beat him grappling, probably. I wouldn't bank on that too much, but I say he could probably have success in the grappling as far as the, from an MMA standpoint, especially when you mix in the strikes. He could have it with, like, pure BJJ. I'll give that to Trevor Jones. But MMA BJJ, I mean, MMA grappling, like wrestling and controlling position, I can give that to Gar Garbrandt. I don't really see Trevor Jones having much success wrestling Garbrandt. Gar Garbrandt's still very fast, still very explosive, got very good hips, got good wrestling defense, good wrestling background. So I don't have to see him having great success with the grappling, unless maybe he hurts him. The on the feet, I felt Garbrandt is a faster, has the faster hands, better footwork, overall the more technical fighter. But again, it's that puncher's chance that Trevor Jones has and the fact that Garbrandt has been chinny and has shown lack of defense at times and rely too much on gifts. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to go with the guy that overall is the better fighter, and I'm not going to lean on the puncher chance. Am I going to um, put money on Garbrandt? Definitely not. If I put money on a finish, my, it might be because I feel like that's where um, – or maybe I might do a hedge where I put Garbrandt in the parlay, but then I'll – no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not putting Garbrandt in nothing. I'm going to put finish maybe because Garbrandt could finish, Trevor Jones could finish. Maybe that way, if the finish is good money, or maybe if Trevor Jones finishes a good money, or if it's not good money, just forget it. But all in all, prediction-wise, I'm going Garbrandt, and I'm going to say decision. I feel like he's going pick to pick his shots well, but not going to commit too much. I mean, he might even make some takes on, takedowns in there, maybe when he gets hurt, or maybe if he feels threatened by something, just to mix a takedown in there, just to confuse um, Trevor Jones. I feel like Garbrandt's going to fight a smarter fight here. Like, even letting the train, like, he's fighting more. You know, he's trying to, like, do some, like, is strip his neck, do whatever he can to work on the durability. I feel like he'll come in here and fight a smart fight and try to avoid as many risks as possible. You know, fight a smarter fight, you know, as he matures into his career, you know, getting through later years and also taking a, a lot of L's and now, like I said, needing this win you know, to save his career, I feel like he's going to fight smarter in this one. And I don't feel like he's going to overcommit. Finish definitely possible, but I'm going to say Garbrandt fights a much safer fight, you know, and fights a smarter, more technical fight and get a decision victory. So in this one, I have Cody Garbrandt via decision.